Welcome back to Bravo Breaking News. So as you all probably know by now, Bethany Frankel has taken the world by storm with her new interview with Rachel Levis. Yes, she dropped two episodes so far of her interview with Rachel post scandal This is the first time that she is sitting down with somebody and talking about everything that went down with the affair with Scandaval after her treatment in the mental health facility. Now, tomorrow, stay tuned because I am going to do a full recap of all three parts because part three is dropping tomorrow. But today, I wanted to hop on and dissect why Bethany is getting slammed for this interview, everything that she's saying in it, and all the drama and backlash surrounding it. So I am going to get into it all. But before I dive in, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any Bravo breaking news. So, of course, this interview comes on the heels of Bethany's reality reckoning. She is trying to form a union for reality stars and get SAG to back her on some asks that actors have that reality stars should have too. Now, some of this I do agree with. However, I think that this interview with Rachel is painting a different picture and is kind of contradicting a lot of the things that she is saying. So, of course, the whole interview is about how Bravo exploited Rachel for Scandamal. We know that Rachel and Tom cheated. They had an affair. Ratings skyrocketed for Vanderpump Rules. Both Bethany and Rachel mentioned on the podcast that Rachel did not get paid for Scandamal. However, Lisa Vanderpump herself is coming out and saying that is not the case. She actually earned a pretty penny of over $350,000 for last season of Vanderpump Rules. So first of all, it seems like maybe they were caught in a lie or maybe we're not fully understanding what they were saying. But now a lot of people are coming out and saying it's not really Bravo that was exploiting Rachel. It's Bethany right now because it came out shortly after that while Rachel was paid to be on Vanderpump Rules, she is not being paid to be on Bethany's podcast. And many might think, is Bethany exploiting Rachel just like so-called Bravo did? Of course, social media is going crazy. The comment sections are insane if you go to Bethany's posts. But one comment in particular stood out to me. And this is by Pieces of Me on Instagram. She asks, why is it not okay for Bravo to exploit her situation, but it is okay for you? Bethany responds, her voice, her words, her choice. Pieces of Me replies and says, I'm quite sure she used her own voice and her own words on VPR as well. At least there she was paid. I think this person makes a strong argument. Rachel was paid for her time on the show. Bethany is not paying Rachel to be on this podcast, period, dot. Now, I did see some comments online saying, oh, well, since Bethany is self-producing this podcast, she's not profitable yet. And there, I'm going to tell you, you're wrong. I'm going to deny that straight out the gate because I'm sorry, starting a podcast requires zero money. You can start a podcast seemingly for free. And if you listen to the podcast with Rachel and Bethany, there are so many ad breaks, more ad breaks than I've ever heard in a podcast. And for every ad break that Bethany has, every ad that is showcased on her podcast, she is making money. So point being, Bethany is profiting off of this podcast and Rachel is not. And there are some other people that agree with that sentiment. Michael Ravaport, one of our favorite Bravo holics, commented on one of my posts saying, exploiting the exploited. And once again, he's not wrong. Bethany is using Rachel for ratings for her podcast while saying that Bravo did the exact same thing and is basically saying what they did is wrong. So spot the difference. Is there a difference? I don't know. Let me know what you think. Michael Rappaport isn't the only one chiming in because we have Summer House's Kyle Cook also entering the chat. He commented on a post by two judgy girls saying, the irony of it all, Bethany cashing in ads as she exposes Bravo's exploits and gives Rachel a voice. She literally has more ad spots than any other podcast I've ever listened to. Rachel won't see a dime, lol. I bet she had to pay her way to fly to B just to record this. If this was a true PSA, it would be ad-free. Once again, not wrong. Kyle makes a strong argument as to why what Bethany is doing isn't what it appears to be on the outside. If you actually think about it, she is exploiting Rachel for ratings 
just like Bravo did. I'm seeing a lot of people ask too, like, why did Rachel have to choose Bethany? Yes, Bethany is a former Bravo star who is trying to, you know, rally up the troops and make a stand against Bravo. So in that way, it makes sense that Rachel would turn to her. However, Rachel could have profited off of this scandal. I'm sure any of the big names, I mean, maybe not Oprah big, but somebody really big could have paid her a lot of money to do a national interview. Instead, she chooses to go on Bethany Frankel's podcast for free. It just doesn't make sense. I think that Bethany almost maybe manipulated her into this, even though they say that Rachel's team reached out to Bethany to begin with. I don't know. It's all, it's just not making sense to me. We also have some of the Vanderpump Rules former cast members entering the chat as well, and that is Kristen Doty. Now, on today's part two of the podcast, Rachel alleged that there was some, you know, physical abuse that went on between Kristen and James during their relationship and or time on the show and that Bravo is trying to hide that. And in order to do that, they basically paid Kristen hush money or gave her this new spinoff in an effort to silence her. Kristen took to Instagram stories today to confirm that that is indeed false. She's telling some truths, um, but I was definitely not offered any sort of hush money. Um, or anything like that, for sure. While she does admit that there are some truths to Rachel's interview, those of which she won't disclose, she is not saying that Bravo paid her any hush money to, you know, to silence her about her drama with James. So moral of the story is, I'm not sure that this interview is hitting how Bethany had expected it to hit. I think that she is getting a lot of backlash and rightfully so. A lot of the things that she is saying are completely hypocritical and kind of, you know, basically go against exactly what she's trying to go after Bravo for doing. She is exploiting Rachel for money. She is cashing in on her podcast ads and she is bragging about it, being the number one podcast in America while bashing Bravo for getting ratings for Vanderpump Rules. So it's once again, just not making sense. I think that Bethany, I don't know. I don't think she did right with this one. I think maybe what she was trying to do um, ended up, you know, hurting her even more. And I don't know. While I think that Rachel deserves a platform to speak out, I think that, I don't know, maybe she should have done it a different way and chosen somebody different other than Bethany, who is kind of becoming toxic on the internet and social media to begin with. So that is my take on the interview. Let me know if you guys have listened and what you guys think about it all in the comments. Again, I will be back to do a full recap of all three parts tomorrow. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any Bravo breaking news.